I'm so glad to see Taraji um, say what she said. I have heard other actors say some things that are very similar. Oh, that gray hair make, make me look like I got something on my lip. Okay, so anyway, let me share with you guys what... I ain't going to share the real numbers, but I'm going to share the numbers from the BET Plus program that I was on, that I was in, um, called Kingdom Business. And so let me tell you how that money worked, and then you're going to, just to really verify that what she said is is pretty true. Okay, so, what a lot of people don't know, after you make a certain amount of money, at one time or over a space of time that passes whatever that threshold is, it goes to 50%, meaning that they're going to take 50% of whatever it is that they are giving you. If it's over a certain amount of money, even if it's over a, a period of time, if it's half time, go. there's that. Um then it depends on what kind of show or what kind of movie it is you're working on. It just so happened that the, the show I was working on, I don't know why I said Poor Connection, I got all my bars. This is, pff, IG and the crazy man. It depends on what kind of movie you're working on. Is it a SAG movie or show or not? Well, if it's SAG, then... That means there are certain things are in place. If you're a lead actor, you may X, Y, Z. You can go look all of this up. If you are a extra, you're making this a week. And you're probably working 12 to 14 hour days. And if you're working four or five days, then you probably, as an extra, you're probably going to make somewhere between $800 and $1,200 that week for a four to five day work week. And you can look all this stuff up. Thank you, Surreal8, for buying the badge. Um, yeah. So, you want to work on a SAG set. I'm not saying that it's not good and there ain't no money in working another set. For, to me, somebody for my brain and the way I'm side up, I'd rather work on a SAG set. For several reasons also, because... If you want your blue check, you know, for your platforms that help when you, these shows come out and they're published and they're reviewed and you worked on it and your name is in publications and is in credits, then that also helps with your blue check. And, you know, blue checks turn into better checks. And working on SAG movies or SAG sets, S-C-T-S, it does give you some kind of, I ain't going to say upper hand, but it does look better when you are, even if you're an extra and it's on a SAG movie, you can use that to your advantage for, for your just resume. It just looks better when it is. And so this is why I said to someone when I came on set, um, probably like the second day on set, um, they were like, well, how, how are you enjoying this? I said, I don't like to hurry up and wait. I don't like sitting on one side of the table. They said, well, that's what you're getting pretty much when you're here. I said, no, that's what you get. I said, this particular show <laughs> that I am on, um, they're paying for my theme song. They're paying to use my logo. They are paying me you know, for more than just being the talent. I'm guest starring. So y'all can go and probably figure out what I mean. And it was eight episodes and I was in five of them. So I'm getting that check as as well. Now you can be smart, you know, and have them to pay your company or your business or pay into something else even. Possibly even a trust, I think they'll do that. I remember looking at the paperwork. And that can make it to where you ain't got to, you can have some of these other cuts where it's not 50% taxes. You know, but you got to have a team that know how to handle that so you don't end up owing nobody and in somebody during court. Yeah, SAG Studio 
Actors Guild. Guild. So, if you have a desire to work, you know, when you're praying and you're doing your creative prayers and you're on your altar and seeking the face of God and, and requesting and petitioning, make sure you are very clear. Lord, I would like it if you would give me an opportunity to be a part of a movie or a show. But this kind, Lord. Sag. You know, so the more you know, and then you take what you know and you put in your meditation, your prayer times, it, it, I feel as though it it fine-tunes some things as it relates to your trajectory. Um, and it gives you more creative power when you can pray about certain things very specific. I used to teach people all the time. I said, if you're going to pray about something, you need to study in that area of your request. If it's a car, study in that area of your request. If it is acting, study in that area of your request. You know, I, I before I even got my first opportunity to act, which was SAG and guest starring, which is unheard of, and guest starring promoting my logo and my name. You know, somebody like, oh my God, that's a great opportunity. No, I thanks be to God, but I created this. I prayed this. I put this on my wall, you know, and I laid on my floor without a bed, you know, splitting up my rent between other people so that I can pursue what it is that I, I wanted to do. I said, well, I would like to act, but if I act, I want to act as me so that that can promote something else that I'm doing because I own my own self. And that's what I done. I prayed that. Y'all watched me create that. Land on the floor 2018, 19, 20. Well, I got back in the bed in 18. But what I'm saying, I was on the floor a great time of that time in 2018. I got back in the bed 19. First got back in the bed 17. Then got back on the floor. Then back in the bed in 19. And I've been in the bed ever since. But anyway, I had a vision wall and everything. and putting up my pay and declaring and decreeing. I wanted to promote myself. So this week or next week when Kingdom Business first season is going to be on the actual BET show, it goes to even more millions of people. Well, people may not know who Yolanda Adams is or her music, but they're going to get to meet. I think her name in that is Danita. Is it Danita? No, it's, it's something that's Lady. It's Lady something. What was her name in that? A Gift and the Curse podcast, thank you. But they're going to meet her as that. Well, me, the character they meet me as is who I am. You know, and I don't know if y'all know this or not. Most people, they see you in a show. Now, a lot of people know now. But some people are still that train of thought. When they see you on the show, they'll walk up to you as if you're that character. Well, you know, when they Google me or see me, they're going to see me as myself. So, it's a blessing. It is a blessing. But I prayed it for. And that's what I requested and that's what I wanted. I'm praying that Kingdom Business will go very far. And that the writers will see fit to write me in so much more to where I become a part of the main, the starring cast, not guest starring. Um, that would be great. That's a better pay as well. And probably way more camera time. And that would pr make me a part of the promotions that they have to do, which would be good for them and good for me too. You know, so I'm glad to rise to ride J. P. Henson share that so that everybody can understand. People naturally think that people on TV making a whole lot of money. Others, that's not what it is. It depends on who you are and what color you are. The how much you are making, <laughs> making when you when you going on the set. You know what kind of movie it is and all of that kind of going on. Let me see what y'all saying. You waiting for me to get back to you? I love you. Where's my baby? I ain't going to run right here. Not a lot of money anywhere in general, but you're right. There's some things a lot of money in. Um, with artists, a lot of people don't know this. Let me say this. When it comes to artists like, I'm going to use Cardi B, but maybe she's not a good example. Let me use somebody like, what's that girl in the city here? I love Amaretta. So, let's suppose she gets signed to Atlantic like Cardi was. And up front, they up front her a few million dollars. And they up front a few million dollars for three or four records. 
and they have at this certain level that they want them to sell and expect them to sell. They put all this marketing money into her. And let's suppose she does well like Cardi. Well, what ends up happening is, you know, she get more deals like that. And then if her brand gets big like Cardi did, you got other brands that may want to do deals with Cardi. But the real money comes from when you call as a promoter or a company and say, Cardi, I want you to come and perform. What she charges, that's how artists make their money, gigging. That's why the pandemic like hit a whole lot of artists over the head because they weren't able to go where their fans were and perform. That's where they make their, their money. Like a preacher or a pastor, they may have a housing allowance, a food allowance, a car allowance, um... They could be getting a small salary, but that, but the way the laws are set up, if you're giving me thirty thousand dollars a month, then everything in order for me to get that, they have to be other expenses. You know, my my the only thing that we get clothing allowance. I'm on. No, they've done away with that clothing allowance, but a lot of people are still doing it. But that's that's gone. You know, and you don't car note allowance unless you're using it for the ministry. ministry and even if it's yours, use it for the ministry, it's just a percentage that they cover. They don't change a lot of those laws. A lot of them laws recently changed, like in the last like five, six years. So, but where the pastor make his money is when he's going to go preach. And they say what your honorarium is. Your honorarium is twenty-five thousand dollars. Well then he may have to take an armor bear hybrid may come out of that, or he may put it on the cost of the place where ain't nobody doing that no more. You know, he may have to pay out $7,000 of it, but he keep the rest of it. You know, and if he's smart, he's not taking that money as a direct pay payment, but it's going into uh, LLC or of some type. So, the pandemic knocked a lot of people over the head because people were not gathering and going, in, and you couldn't. that gig money was gone. It was just gone gone. This is why you see an actor like the guy that was on the Cosby show that he was working at a fast food joint. They put that picture out to shame him. But he hadn't had no work in no big show. So what the hell is he supposed to do? He got to go and he got to work. But then Tyler Perry saw him and put him in one of his series. So he started getting a check again. And then there's a residual income that comes for actors too. Now Taraji didn't talk about that. Like, if, like what's supposed I, I pray Number one, that Kingdom Business do over a hundred episodes to give pop possibility for syndication, and it goes five seasons, and they write me in, they write me in, not just guest star, but write me in, and then somebody buy it, oh, like Netflix. Hmm. Depending on how things are worked out. You know, you can, as an actor, like the Cosby show, them folks were still making that bread until it got pulled. So when Cosby had that stuff going on, it affected all of them. Because that's those subscriptions, a piece of that the actor can get if, if Kingdom of Endless gets. So a piece of that rep repetitiveness, that is residual income. It is. And then if you like me, because I be submitting to the, to the people who program the music in these movies and in these shows... I be submitting my stuff that I have written that I own the masters to and be praying, Lord, let them put it in there because that's another check. You, you see? So there are ways to make money in it. And I don't know why I feel, feel compelled to share it, but I just want you guys to know. You know, I think I know why because I think those of you that are watching me, that you are me, I think we call it out, we, we call to each other. So I feel like that I'm telling you so that it can you know, ins inspire you and instruct you. And maybe some of you were thinking the wrong way and you just got to reprogram your headpiece and get that dome piece set up right for the future that you are, have been praying for. Yeah. I'm going to see what y'all saying. Hey, baby. Yeah, King of Business is a good show. I mean, hey, Josh. It's good. And I'm not saying it because I'm in it. I would have watched it even if I wanted. It was really, it's really good. You said clergy attire can be written off. Like the, the collar, the zucchetta, the 
the Shamir that, but the clothes that you wear, it used to be like that. But, now see, my accountant is really funny. So, from what she told me, mm -mm. you know, there's some things that come, all of that stuff, but I don't do all that. You know, I let her handle all that, but if I'm not mistaken, and I only got one phone with me, so I can't call her live. But that's that's a thing of the past. Not anymore. Yeah. What's about Larry? I guess you done throw my away. I don't know what's about. Yeah, what Lemuel did with um, Zeus Network. That you know, that's that's big things. That's bossing for real. That's real bossing. How you doing? Praise away. That's real bossing up. You say you're waiting for me to get back to you. Let's email my people because they do better with that. Because I don't always, I don't always be checking my my inbox on IG, my DM. Hey, what's up? Also, keep in mind, women are being paid less than man, men at this. True. No, you can't write off as much as you used to. Them, that's gone. If you're still doing that, you best pray you don't get out of it. <laughs> I go to a CPA who does clergy taxes for many denominations. Okay. If you're talking about that attire, stuff like that, yeah. But we used to get like a clothing allowance. We don't get that no more. Even entertainment allowance. We didn't get that no more. Like we could, we can go to the movies and certain things that will be covered in the ministry. Oh no, you can't do that no more. No, that's gone. So I said, Happy New Year. You put an S on it though. You know you're not supposed to do that. So tell Shamako don't be talking to me in the message like you. No, now I don't be talking. Up on the people live, but I do hear the people thinking it's me. I have an account on every platform, but you would know by looking at my account, it's me. It, that's that don't be me over there talking. I ain't got time to be in everybody live like that. I try to go to people live to support though. Right, not the street clothes that's gone. That's what I'm talking about. That clothing allowance, yeah, it's gone. A lot of this, a lot of it is gone. It got, got real tight. Thank you for loving the page. Look out for a gospel record. God's Got You by Nicole Last Little. Let me educate you right quick, Nicole Last Flow. The best thing for you to do is to try to organically create relationships with influencers or people that have platform. Because when you go up under that comment section and you do stuff like that or inbox them your project nobody looks at those things and it's like it's what you call like it's, it's a cold like trying to do cold sale i don't know you and where we are at now in our world we are more into personalities and those personalities that engage you got like super you got darius cooks who are on ig all the time engaging so when they drop a product these people buy not so much just because it's them, which a lot of people do, but because they feel like family. They feel there's such a connection to where they're going to support regardless. And so how you engage on the Internet should be organically, you know, and try to create engagement. Sending that and putting that in my chat, even my people aren't going to respond to that because they do not know you. So the best thing for you to do is get organically connected to influencers or pay influencers to say your name and to put your product in front of their people over a period of time. I see a lot of these um, outlets say $25 for a post. Our people do it, and you may get a little engagement from that, but that ain't even smart. You need to see if you can get them people to put your post up, keep it up, and do it like once a week for like, Five months. That's how you're going to get the best out of that. Otherwise, it's a waste of your time and energy and your money. All right. Okay. Uh -huh. 
all right, I hope what I said, I'm going to leave this up because I, I just feel like I said some stuff that was pretty good. So I'm going to leave it up for a little while, then I'm going to take it down, all right? But you might need to go ahead and pull it so you can remember, so you can remember about that. And I and listen to me, those of you that are content creators with YouTubes, and you just I can't wait to get to fifty thousand. I can't wait to get to hundred thousand. That that era is gone. Now there are people who have millions of followers, and they're getting great Google AdSense checks, and that's great. But unless you got multiple millions of followers, and posting consistently you ain't getting no big huge adsense checks those and with a million followers that don't make no difference do are they getting millions of views a month getting millions of views a month and even a million cause you to get a pretty nice google adsense check what you should focus on is how good you do what you do your engagement because i i let me tell you this I've done a million dollars generated for my business in 40-something days. And I've done it over and over again. I didn't have 100,000 followers on YouTube. In fact, the first time I did it, I think I had 60,000. See, this is what you got to do. And this is what I've taught some YouTubers who I don't talk to no more. What i taught, what you need to do is you need to excavate. You need to extract out of social media your audience and pull them into something else. Look, I'm sharing some stuff I don't really be sharing. This, this, this shouldn't be shared free, but here it is. I pull that. You pull your people out of social media and you develop a relationship with these people. Find a service that you can provide for these people. Oh, the only thing I can do is talk. Okay, well, they're watching you for a reason. So what is it that you do that you do well that you can give exclusively to people that really like your platform? Well, for me, people watching my platform for funny and, you know, and, and people that are people of faith, you know. But so what I did, I said, I prophesy. I've been prophesying since I was 15 years old, having visions of the future, fooling up with spirits and demons and healings and house cleansing, you know, for years. You know, I do music as well. I'm a songwriter. I'm an author. I do books as well. You know, and I'm, and I'm a great teacher, great spiritual teacher and thought leader. I said, okay, well, let me, these people that I pull over here, let me use all of my gifts to make their life better. See, that's the thing. What is it that you can do that can make somebody's life better? And that's what I started doing. And then, and because it was in the pandemic, there were more people online than ever. The activity numbers were through the roof. And so I stayed right there, talking, talking, talking. So I said, you know, black folk don't like, you know, reading. And the health is off. So let me bring some folk on that talk about the health. Get the vitamin D3 levels up. Get them on the Build Your Immune System Health Challenge and create a community of, of wellness. I started doing all that 2020. And I was trying to make people life better. But then I began to notice, wait a minute, the, the bottom line is coming up. Things more is coming in. Okay, what else can I do? And so I really got driven, still am, about making people life better and getting them information and inspiring, inspiring them. I was not chasing the bag. Did I, was I looking at the money? Yeah. Do I, do I care about the money? Absolutely. I care. Do I want money? Yes. I want money and money wants me. I have no relationship, no, no issue with my relationship with money as far as that is concerned. I had to work through some stuff, poverty, impoverished thinking and thinking money was unholy and impure. You know, but, yeah, that's what you got to do. And if you do that, just be consistent. Hold on, let me say this too, content creators. So this is a lot I'm giving. Just for, I need to delete this. Another thing is this here. Aside with the consistency. Find out what it is you do well. I watch some content creators. They were posting other people's content. There's nothing wrong with that if you're putting a spin on it and making it unique and your commentary becomes something people like. But then the next thing they're doing 
they're doing the call-in feature. Then the next thing they're doing, they're doing the sound effects. And well, see, some people can do all those, do all those things, you know, and that's what they push, and they've been consistently doing it for years. But I'm talking about those people that do this for a little bit, then do that for a little bit, then they change, and I don't want to do hot topics as it relates to the um, culture and what is popular. Oh, then they want to go in the church sector. Then they want to move over here in the beef sector. Then they want to go over here and do fashion and hair. Then they want to go over here and do music. Well, what the hell is you? And so if you can't figure that out, people are not going to know what they're coming to you for. And though you may have their su subscription, they're not watching you, so you're not getting the views. So it's not affecting your check. You still ain't hardly getting no money. You know, so... Oh no, I don't know how I got into all of this, but Taraji got me over here just thinking. And so I wanted to share all of that with you guys. I hope that something that I said helped those of you that are watching me. And remember this, if you are a content creator, don't make another content creator your content. Type that in there. If you're a content creator, don't make another content creator your content. I don't never see Shade Room talking about the Jasmine brand. I don't ever see the jazz, Brad, Jasmine brand over there talking about neighborhood talk. I don't ever see neighborhood talk over there dragging TMZ. Behind the scenes, these people are working together to make sure everybody is doing good in their niche. How do I know? Because all those people I name, I do not have a platform where I'm dragging them and there are times when we have to liaison if it's just a thank you for reposting what I'm doing. Y'all really gotta get out of that and get to your work and do your work with an open and clear heart and, and with diligence and commitment and execute it as professional and top notch as you possibly can. Okay? Yes, not eat to provide value. And people are going, people, you know why people go to Walmart? You know why they go to Target? Let it be the same reason they come to you. Because what they're getting from you, they can't go get it from anywhere else. And you create a loyal customer. You just need loyalty. You don't need large. Because small is the new big. You just need your people. That's it. You just need your people. Your people. Your people. That's all you need. Huh? All right. I'll chat to you later. And thank you so much for all of your, um, um, when y'all do that money stuff. Thank you so much for that. Because all of this goes to the ministry. And the ministry, you know, they pay the contractors and stuff. So you helping. Thank you. Talk to you later. Bye.